How's it going guys? This is Diamond Guitarist here at a very luxurious location here in uh, Antigua, well, Guatemala, Lake Atitlan. Beautiful. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick response video about, uh, this is a post uh, made on Twitter by a guitarist called John Gom. Uh, respect to you John. Uh, I'm not hating or criticising, uh, just sharing my uh, comments here. Um, basically you said like, you know, you're, you're, you're somewhere along the lines of your technique can be amazing but you know the hardest thing to do is to play in time and and uh, uh, play in tune and I responded a couple of times and we've had a couple of uh, little comments but I mean I'm, I'm on his side really but I think he's he's kind of making it sound a bit mysterious and, and more difficult than what it is uh, I mean I think one of my responses was like to play in tune what you just tune your guitar right as long as you make sure you're in the habit as a, as a, as a practicing guitarist of tuning your guitar before you play not all guitars stay in tune great but you know um, you do develop that ear and you can hear whether it's in tune or not and so you should always learn to tune by ear rather than relying on a tuner yes if you're in a gig situation have a tuner stage tuner there boss stage tuner and uh, you know you can tune on the silent then but learn to tune by ear whether it's the fifth note method where you're playing the fifth fret the fifth fret method where you're playing the fifth fret of the the E string and then the A string is open and then you keep going down like that you change it to the fourth fret on the G and the B strings. Or you can tune by the harmonics on the fifth and the seventh fret. That's another method. And you go fourth and fifth fret on the uh, G and the B string again. So what I'm saying is, uh, you know, tune your guitar by all means, make sure it's in tune, but it's not that difficult or mysterious. And uh, also he's saying about playing in time. Now I do, do hear a lot of guitarists that are play, perhaps rushing and uh, playing out of rhythm uh, a little bit. Uh, so I do agree with him more so on that point. You know, it is more uh, of a challenge to to play, in, 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 you know, in in the pulse, in the rhythm, to, to play in the groove, as they say. And it's a, it, is, it is quite an overlooked thing for many guitarists who just sit there practicing the scales and the widdly widdlies and not thinking about rhythm. Uh, but really, I teach all of my students a to practice with a metronome really slowly so if they're practicing for instance the chromatic scale which um, is I think everyone every guitarist should practice the chromatic scale I hear a lot of my students they'll try playing it and they're going too fast and it's all sloppy and I'm going no just slow it down you know like like 70 beats a minute 80 beats a minute whatever it is nice and slowly methodically so that your brain and your body gets to register the information and then you can speed up gradually as for playing, you know, in rhythm and in the pocket, as they say, you know, yeah. Uh, again, practicing the metronome, practicing the backing tracks, stuff like that. but more importantly, move your body. You know, if you're playing and you can bounce up and down and move your body to the rhythm, because the rhythm is in the body. That's, that's a fact. Rhythm is not somewhere out there, it's in your body. So I also encourage my students to, Wherever they are, if they hear some music and they're sitting down, like tap on the legs, tap, it, tap the rhythm out and, and, and again, move your body, feel the rhythm. That's the most important thing, right? And then, of course, once you have that sense of time and that rhythm in your body, it's very, very difficult to do the opposite and make a mistake. Like what used to, you used to think was difficult of playing in time or keeping a rhythm or keeping a pulse is, uh, it becomes like second nature and you can't not do it because you're moving your body, you're in the groove, you're in the time. So dance, move your body, tap on a table, whatever. Get that sense of rhythm into your body. Um, another good one is clapping your hand to the metronome. And if you are clapping on a nice slow pace, again, like a 60 beat, 70 beat, clap to the metronome. And if you're doing it right, you will hear, well, you won't hear the metronome. The metronome will disappear. The sound of the metronome will disappear if you're doing it correctly. So I hope that helps. And uh, thanks to John Gom anyway, John Gom anyway on, on Twitter. I have started following him and I'll share this video on, on my Twitter and tag him and see what he's got to say about this. Cheers guys. Here is a lovely view of Lake Atiklan with volcanoes and shit. Check it out. Look at that volcano over there. Absolutely stunning, right? 